Okay, so we're going to take a look at an improvement that we made um, last week to one of my clients' uh, setup and swing. So we're just mainly working a little bit on setup and, and backswing motion. So if we look at the right hand screen here, we can see that there's a little bit too much knee bend going on. Um, standing a little bit too far away from the ball, the weight looks very much kind of in the toes. Um, so we're having to put sort of a lot of that knee bend in there to try and balance out the weight position again. But one thing that you'll notice is as uh, as the, my client takes it up to the top of the backswing, the hands and the arms are just working way out in front of his body. So it's very much sort of a an upright arm plane, very steep motion going up to the top of the backswing. So not really getting the club behind him. So as we arrive at the top of the backswing, the, the left arm is just too much high across the, the face position. And this can only lead to one thing, the club coming down very steep, very outside, creating a, a very much leftward path through the strike. Now, obviously, we're hitting a lot of pull shots here, hitting a lot of slices as well. Um, you know, we had flight scope on and it, it was tracking the swing path to be sort of seven degrees left uh, through impact. So some of the changes that we that we made, we uh, we got the the posture better. You can see the the join in the mat here. So you can see how far the toe line is behind the join in the mat. So we we've, we've got his uh, uh, you know his toe line a lot more closer. It's on the join of the mat. So we've got him to the closer to the ball. Um, we took some knee bend out, and we got him feeling that the weight was a lot more in the balls of the feet and uh, moved it away from the toes. From here, we started to work on a bit more of a, 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 a better backswing path. So you can see now as the club is coming back, it's working up nicely up the original shaft plane, which is great. So if we just take a look at the, the right hand screen again, you can see that the shaft is working very much outside the original shaft plane. From here, we can start to work the club deeper with some good rotation around behind us. So when we start to arrive at the top of the backswing position, the left arm is nicely across the shoulder plane. And uh, the other thing I like as well is the club face is pretty square to the left forearm. So if we just run the one up on the, the right to the top, you can see the difference as to where we're now getting to the top of the backswing. Body's a lot more in balance. From here, as we make the transition across into the left side, the club is now working down nicely um, on plane. The shaft plane is a little bit steep, but the hand plane is so much better. It's not coming down out in front of the body so much. And therefore, again, we had uh, the flight scope on and that, that was starting to produce a, a swing path that was three degrees out to the right. And uh, the face was slightly shut to the path. So we started to produce a few nice draw um, golf shots. So that's just a bit of an insight into how we uh, changed my client's sort of setup and, and swing motion. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please give it the thumbs up and share it with your golfing friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can also find me on Facebook at Markwood Golf Academy and on Twitter at Number One Golf Coach. Thank you for watching.